Yo, yo, good people, good people. Let's see how this go. Just finished the first part of my workout. About to do the second part. So I'm gonna hop on and holler at y'all and see. Lord, Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna try this shit. You feel me? Greetings, 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 greetings. To all the ladies and gentlemen, peoples and folks. You know what I'm saying? Sluggo, you. Hey, Slug, speaking of, I'm about to uh, uh, hit a little bullet point. I, I know you peeped. I gave you 10% on every one of them records. I went back. I'm about to explain why I had to go back in a second. Uh, I need to find somewhere to post up. Okay. No, thanks to everybody on the LSD uh, album. All, what, 56 people? Oh, just thanks to everybody, man. Uh, what I'm noticing with a, about a lot of this shit, uh, it's the lunchroom, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own lunchroom table, but I tried to put together an album where they could show at least Chicago is at one table, or at least we, somebody from the city know how to bring us together, you feel me? So that was sort of my idea with that, you heard? So shout out everybody who lend their voices, their talents, their time, and all the above to me and my son's uh, album. You know what I'm saying? K produced that whole thing. Um, and I guess I saw, me and Sluggo architect the whole thing. If it weren't for Sluggo, I don't think a lot of that would have happened. If shit, if it did happen, that shit would have been at least double. You heard me? So, when what happened, happened. It was only right that I went back and uh, remembered and did the godly thing. And gave Slug his credit, 10% on each record. Uh, gave Blue his credit, 5% on each record. You feel me? Just making sure everybody is right, even if it come from mine. You feel me? But you know, I don't, I don't go live all the time, man. I know I don't be on this thing, because a lot of y'all, there's too many cooks in the kitchen, man. And everybody all got an opinion on how the food should taste when it all boils down to if it tastes good or do it taste bad. So because things tend to get lost in the mix on this, on this platform, I tend to just stay out the way and work you feel me but you know when you stay out the way and work uh sometimes people tell your story for you you know what i'm saying and sometimes you need to tell that thing yourself so via my guy bishop voila i gotta start coming on here and telling my story you heard me so i'm just walking around right now doing so but uh start with that story you know what i mean first and foremost a lot of y'all know me as live, huh? <laughs> or DLS. See, I started making beats and shit. In what? 2000? The Suave? That was my name, DLS. That live shit. When I got with Slug. When I got with Slug. Hold on, a whole Slug request. Nah, when I got with Slug and Bang. What up, dude? Slug, go. What's up? Nothing, just getting on here, man, telling the story. Hey, man, on, listen, you know, uh, I, I hope you keep this on your page, because a yeah. lot of people don't do what you've done, bro. And, and, and you, you you was around for it. Like, I really helped 
a lot of people. And then, you know, when it comes to people like yourself, it's just a phone call. You call, you trying to get in touch, woo woo, it's done. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. I, I've done I've done what I did for you for a gang of people. You know what I'm saying? Well, here's the thing. I can't think yeah, of nobody so I, uh, you didn't help. Yeah. I ain't yeah, nobody got to give you no credit. It's like I I've always told nobody you, man, like, what's, what's, what's for me going to come, and what ain't for me just ain't going to be there. So, but for you for you to do that, though, for you to do that, because I, I, I ain't going to lie to you. When I saw it, I'm like, is it a mistake? Like, did you make a mistake? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was going to hit you up, like, <laughs> hey, you know you uh, accidentally, uh, you know, but then I... Nah, yeah, it wasn't even no accident. I, I see, it wasn't even I no that. accident. Because what happened with the first one, let me tell you, I uploaded the first version right. the third week of right. November, right? Like the second week before it was wow. going to come out, it disappeared. So I knew, I don't know, Spotify wow. just removed it. They just removed the album. So I'm like, whoa, because I'm knowing it's some BS, that's why I went back and doubled back and put out that other album just to be like, okay, let me make sure right, it ain't right, right. the way I'm distributing. You know, right. you know what I'm saying? Let me make sure it ain't me. That album on the 30th came out with no problem. It never hit Spotify. Wow. Never. I hit Distro Kid. I said, this, hey, what's up? They like it ain't us. Fam said me to contact to a guy over there at Spotify. Yo, he said somebody removed the album and started a new <laughs> profile. <Fuck>. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, well, shit, how am I going to get the album on Spotify? He said, you got two choices. You can either upload it and just put Spotify, but even if you do that, you still got to delete it. Did you ever find out who did it? No, nope. I you know that that's take the lawyers crazy. that far. I I was just, that's crazy. I was just like, you know what? Thank y'all. So now it ain't a 2022 nah, no album. Blessing. It's a 2023 you album. Bless. You feel? You got a bless. Can't get no better than that. Blessing out of but they removed it. That's a whole blessing. So when they removed it like that, when I took it back down, it got me to thinking. I said, whoa. I miss Slug's credit. I miss Blue credit. I miss, so it got me to thinking mm. of everybody I missed and every every credit, right. every piece, everything I missed. You feel me? And then it, so now this up, mm. it's up for good. It's up for good. I paid for the, uh, you know, how the, uh, they got that legacy yeah. pack. They got to leave a oh, legacy damn. pack where it stay up forever. Pay for that. I pay for the you the, the YouTube content ID. So meaning, if somebody playing our any one of the songs, even in their background or on their, it, we getting paid now. So I took it down. So as, as come on now, much. Hey, on hey, now. come on. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go in the club, live. Like. Hit me later. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you, love, bro. Yeah, so like I was saying, when they did that, so you see how he called me live? That's what another people know me as. Because like I said, when I was working with Bang and Sluggo, I dropped that shit, the D and the S, and just went with live. So that was my producer and engineer name for a while. So then after that, it all just came. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like, at first, I had the name Bobby Gore. A lot of y'all know that. Um, I won't get into the story on why I chose that name. I'll let y'all ask David Dolly about that, the quote-unquote only white vice lord. But I'll let the well, first white vice lord. I'll let y'all ask, ask him about that. He's a professor over at Dermot. Y'all should go ask him. Be cool or not. But that's another thing. So without explaining that, I picked up the name. But it seemed like I got more haters and more, more dissent for picking up the name from people from my own neighborhood. So now I'm like, you know, out here and shit like this, 
fighting for what I need to fight for. You feel me? I'm out here fighting for what I need to fight for. And at the same time, I got people just really hating on me when that, I'm just trying to let the world know, hey, Holy City exists. We was here. So that didn't go how I, I, I thought. So via the negative energy from it, and remembering my granddaddy used to make me be a deacon when I was in church, I just went on here with the deacon. And if you don't know my name, Dion. That's why the name is called Dion. You heard? Come on now. It's some slick shit going on here. Everybody just got to keep up. I swear to God, it's entertaining. So it's like, that's why I went with that. You heard? Now, if you also recall, I've been out here. Uh, I used to do with B.E., with Bailey. My nigga Bailey, love, bro. I used to be doing a company with him called Just Be Live, right? So I, I met with some lawyers out here around, I want to say like 2012, 2013. Three lawyers. I looked at them. They looked at me. They looked at my 1,100-page uh, business plan. 1,100 pages, ask them around. They look at my business plan. They tell me, you a blue chip. I'm like. I actually get offended because I'm like, I ain't here to, I, I, I'm here for a whole nother thing. What's the time about? You know what I'm saying? So he like, nah, you a blue chip. You ever seen a movie with Nick Nolte and Shaq and all of that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, you, uh, you automatic because you too good, so good at this music business. You gonna have it hard. You know too much. Right hand of God. That's what that man told me. I'm paying to sit with some lawyers and the man told me I'm too fair. Because I'm too fair and I know so much, I was gonna have it hard in this business. And since then, I was like, say less. And that's when the spirit awoken in me to start speaking and talking and, and, and getting on these beats myself. Hence the rapper is born, you heard? Cause like I said, that wasn't even always an automatic thing. Cause nigga used to stutter when I was coming up. So me being a rapper, I ain't see that. Ooh, look at this moon, y'all. Mm, look at that moon. It's the little things. It's just the little things. It's just the little things. That's all it is. So, yeah, but another thing, too. If you notice in my profile, it says sciences. That's exactly what I am. The sciences. My first degree, my undergrad is in uh, youth development, human, college of human ecology from Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan. My first master's is in organizational management from uh, what? National Lewis University in Lyles, Illinois. The second master's is in uh, entrepreneurship and innovation from Full Sail down in Winter Park, Florida. Then my third master's is in uh, creative writing with an emphasis on poetry and that comes from southern new hampshire university you've heard me so considering i'm gonna literally go back and get my phd yeah i'm a scientist as you can see those are all behavioral sciences degrees except the last one no arts just sciences just sciences just sciences why i want to study the human behavior i'm already an artist that's easy so like I said, slug credit on the album from them taking the album down. Um, how to get slug his credit. Um, how to get blue his credit. Oh, another thing I got to mention, Foxy, Empress Fox. Um, we had a mix up with the song we had. That's uh, the Jody song. Uh, babe, the Jody song with uh, the real Santana and Tina B on, on the LSD joint. I had to... Uh, I got it. I had to go back and fix her, her, her song to get her credit right because she's an amazing person. So I had to. And I also had to go back and get native beats right on the from the west side to the honey is. You just got to rap like a mummy. So my guy, Creek, Big C, Creek, Louis Luce, you know what I'm saying? So I had to get that right with native because although my son remade the beat, the original concept, but I did chords, all of that. That come from native. That come from native. No cap. Like I said, Spotify, 
Uh, it's, it's on there now. That's all we can say. It's on there. <laughs> oh, man. But like I said, I uploaded that the third week of November when I uploaded uh, Three Piece Chicken Wing with Esther Mouse Sauce Volume 3 on God. And I told y'all about the Dion album. Um, I only put that out because I felt the system was going to be on some bullshit with us or with, with the whole album. So I set up another album just to have evidence that somebody deliberately did what they did. Uh, you know, independent-ish. No labels, just independent. Just me and my boy, me and my son. And a whole bunch of prayers. You heard me, the re-release out, Distro Kid Features. Like I said, we put that Discovery Pack on it. We put, uh, uh what else? We got the song registration. We got the YouTube ID. We got the Leave a Legacy. Those are really important. Oh, big announcement. Two in November. Last November. Uh, I'm a member of the National English Society, too, via my last master's. And uh, they got something called Color for Colorado that they do every year where they uh, uh, invite, uh, you know, authors and other uh, creators of literature to uh, showcase their literature. Um, I put all the lyrics and all of the, everything from the, uh, the album, all of that's going to be in this contest if they accept us. I did that in November. I don't know when they're announcing it, but if they do that, we'll be in Colorado with this album being displayed as wonderful literature, not just rap, literature. Now that's hard. Who doing that? Lyric book coming soon too, next week on God. So since they forced us to have a 2023 album, we're gonna do that thing right, gonna ride it out at least to half this year. Watch the right way on God. So once you add that up, uh, I could say something about the sharing and other people and how people ain't sharing. But like I said, man, what we did is put together some shit that's, that nobody else can do, man. No other city has ever done what this album is. So for anybody who not trying to share it and show love, all that, like I said, it's the lunchroom table, man. Eventually, you're going to have to circle back around and stop at one of them lunchroom tables. You heard? So that go like that. Then all the artists, I'm going to shoot y'all all y'all the email. Probably before Monday, every artist that's on that joint, I'm going to shoot you an email, Joe. I'm going to shoot you an email with all the promo stuff in it and let you go from there. You do it accordingly separate uh joints of each song if that's yours and uh and all the other promo stuff that i got you post accordingly you do that yeah it'll be all up because that ain't just me and my son's album that's yours too and that's chicago's album watch this because we can ride that motherfucker wow you heard him? so and like again like i say if i missed you if i missed you i'm sorry i promise i'm sorry um let's try to get it on volume two you heard me I think it should be in volume two, the way volume one going. But let's try to get it on volume two. Outside of that, I done went through all my bullets. Um, it's getting dark out this thing. I'm finna move around. And uh, I'm finna start being on here more, man. Just talking to y'all and just doing Because a lot of people know my personality and a lot of people don't. I'm, 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 I'm extrovert, introvert, you know, uh, type of deal. But uh, call it sensitivity. Highly emotional or something. <laughs> emotional intelligence or something. I don't know. But I'm going to leave y'all with these, bro. And we go from there. Deacon Gore, we check back in after that. You heard? It's this view, right? Yeah, buddy. 